Shane Dawson posted my final thoughts on the beauty world. He posted this June 20th at 9.02 p.m. Welcome to the circus, my final thoughts on the beauty world. A few questions that I have been getting lately. One, did I know that she was thinking about making a video? She, I believe he's thinking about Tati Westbrook and he said yes. Two, did I tell her to make a video? No. Three, did I have any involvement in the video? No. Four, did I orchestrate it? No. Five, did I need that kind of drama to make a good series? No. Six, have I tried to ruin a career or make someone look bad in my 15 years of YouTube? No. Seven, do I have a track record of getting into drama with people or having fights with other YouTubers? No. Number eight, am I innocent and don't have huge anxiety? provoking regret about how I could have helped everyone handle everything better? No, I've had a pit in my stomach since it all happened. Now onto my final thoughts on the beauty world and my experience in it. The Conspiracy Palette was one of the best experiences of my life. The series with Jeffrey changed my life and changed me as a person. It helped me be more confident and stand up for myself, which I've always been bad at. So to honor the series and what I've learned from it, I'm going to say this. The beauty gurus who are always involved in scandals are all the effing same. They all are attention-seeking, game-playing, egocentric, narcissist, <laughs> vengeful, whoa. Yes, they are talented, creative, smart, and love makeup, but they also joined a side of the internet that is obsessed with looks, money, power, fame, screenshots, and subtweets, releasing private texts, voice memos, emails, and other receipts as a way to paint yourself in a particular light or someone else in a bad light is weird to me and I will never engage in that. That is a game that they know how to play well and I would rather eat my own hands off than play it. Yes, Jeffrey is that list of dramatic gurus, and he would admit that. And he will always be family to me, and I love him despite those characteristics. He's very aware of the fact that I don't agree with many of the ways he approaches situations, and I have been very honest with him about needing to make some changes. But as for being in the beauty world, I can't take the drama anymore. And it's not how I am wired, so I'm out. It's draining, exhausting, depressing, and sometimes amazing. But for me, the amazing and outweighed by the bad. I can't have a pit in my stomach every day waiting for the next scandal or the next exposed video. It's going to give me health issues and I'm done caring about it anymore. I've never been involved in drama with another YouTuber ever, and the second I decided to do a beauty series, boom, I'm in the hurricane. So did I plan Dramageddon? Are you serious? No. Do people in the YouTube world come to me like a grandpa and tell me their problems and ask me for advice? Yes. It is easy for me to get wrapped up in something potentially toxic. And if I think someone I love is hurting or upset, yes, it's on issue. And I need to work on and have been working on. When she told me how upset she was in person, I had the same reaction the world did when they saw her video. Now, I'm going to stop right there. I think he's talking about Tati Westbrook, even though he hasn't mentioned her yet. There was a, a few video clips that Tati Westbrook and Shane Dawson were going to film a video together. Um, that video never came out, never came to light. So I think what he's talking about is whenever I'm only just alluding here, my conspiracy, my, you know, my conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly, is that when Tati Westbrook went over to Shane Dawson's house is when she kind of confided in him. And that's what he's talking about here. All right, here we go. I felt awful for her and she seemed broken. So I tried to be there for her and be someone she could talk to about it. So was I shocked that she decided to make a video? No. Was I shocked that Tati read 
his ass for effing filth? Yes, I wasn't acting. I didn't know it was going to be that intense. Looking back, I still believe her on a lot of what she said, and I believe she felt it was what she needed to do at the time. Does she regret it? Probably. Does it mean she would see James as some poor, innocent, sweet angel? No, don't get it twisted. Him and Jeffrey have always been at the top of the dramatic guru list, and I mean that with love. Woo! Did I warn James about the video? No. Why? For reasons that I will never discuss, we've spoken privately on it, and that's that. Do I think James is the devil? No. Do I think he was young and egocentric, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of humble pie the size of the effing Empire State Building? Yes. Has the grown, what? Has he grown as a person since then? It really seems like it. And that's amazing. I'm truly happy. Oh my gosh. Guys, hold on. Breaking news. I'm truly happy if he's realized how his ego was affecting others, which he did address in his No More Lies video. Do I think Tati is a villain? No. I think Tati was sick of being treated like ish by so many in the beauty world and finally snapped and damn, did she effing snap all the way off. Holy, woo, she really said eff it and beat her face for the gods and popped out that ring light and went full glam of thrones, full game of thrones on that ish. Say what you want about her or that video, but that ish will be in the history books. Effing YouTube Rewind even gave it acknowledgement. Damn. Okay, sorry. Back to my rant. Do I think Jeffrey orchestrated this whole situation? No. Tati is a strong woman who made a choice. Do I think Jeffrey was also upset by some issues with James and some things he heard behind the scenes? Yes. Was Jeffrey excited to see a competitor fall? Probably. He's Jeffrey F. and Star. What do you expect? I guess I missed the part where he got baptized and devoted his life to Christ. Did Jeffrey take it too far and F up big time by tweeting what he said? Yes. And it's one of those biggest regrets of his life. That all happened over a year ago, and I'm really sick of hearing about it and having people constantly using it as a way to keep my name and other names whew, tagged together in drama videos. Don't get it twisted. Drama will never end with a lot of these people. It's their game, their survival, their drug. They love it. This specific drama went too far, obviously, and hopefully something like that never happens again. Putting drama in the trailer was something I regret more than anything in the world, and I'm mad that I chose T over morals. I'm really sorry to Tati and James if me putting their drama in the series at all felt like I was reopening up wounds. Although I did speak to both of them privately about the trailer, I should have not even done it at all. Drama might be fun to watch, but it's not fun to get wrapped up in, and it's my fault for letting that happen. And I'm sick of being trapped in the middle of it. Do I think this will be the last drama involving these people? No. No, I don't. Do I want to be involved ever again? F no. Remember to not expect these gurus to maintain some high moral code. And we shouldn't have some, they must be perfect or they're canceled mentality. The reason you watch these people is because they are so extra. They are dramatic. And if you keep canceling them and wanting them to go away, then who will you talk about? You don't go to a circus to watch the hay on the ground. You go to watch the over-the-top performers who just want to be liked and want to do whatever they can to get your attention. If you don't want to feed into it, then don't. But before all the drama-free gurus pop off at me and say, well, I'm not involved in drama and I'm perfect, girl, please. Your top viewed videos are probably top makeup fails and anti hauls with vomit emojis all over the screen, and that's okay. I love these videos, but let's not pretend that the beauty world isn't negatively first. Makeup second, 
Yeah, it's a, yeah, I believe it's negative first and makeup second. It's just how it is, and I'm sick of people pretending to be so above it all. And with that said, I love watching beauty channels of all sizes, and I will continue to watch and support them. The dramatic ones, the non-dramatic ones, and the ones who generally just love to show their makeup skills. Sadly, those channels get way less views for some reason. I have stated above. Okay, he goes on to say, So go enjoy the gurus enjoy the circus unsubscribe from me if you are mad that i'm no longer engaging in it unsubscribe to gurus who you don't like subscribe to gurus you do like just don't take the beauty world as seriously as i did as so many of us did in 2019 it's not worth it and i feel like we all lost a bit of our soul during drama getting this is really hard okay as for my channels, I'm done with the beauty world. I love what I was able to create with Jeffrey and I'm sure people are going to assume I only did it for money, but that's not true. I'm just choosing to no longer be a part of that world. I will still watch beauty videos and, and buy and play with makeup and be a part of it in my life offline. But as for being a part of that world on YouTube, I don't think it's for me. I need to get back to why I started YouTube back in 2005, and that was to make things that bring me joy, not drama, and to make movies one day. Makeup will, for now, just be a fun hobby. I have to help, oh, I have to help with my anxiety, like slime or emotional eating. And that all sounds really good to me right now. So that was Shane Dawson's response to the current drama and how he feels about the situation. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye, I love you so much.